in this project I am going to demonstrate how you can use the infrared receiver on the idiotware shield to remote control of the components on the idiotware shield itself. You will need the following things to get started. An Arduino Uno, Adiatware Shield, I2C OLED display, 4 2 pin jumpers, USB cable to connect Arduino to computer, 9 volt power adapter, 1 IR remote control. If you look at the code of the IR remote or the IR receiver, in the IR receiver on the Adiatware Shield, we will demonstrate how you can use different actions on the Adiatware Shield by the press of a infrared remote button. We are going to include the Adafruit NeoPixel library, the IR library, the UAGLib display library in the code. These libraries can be downloaded from our GitHub repository. The IR receiver is connected on pin number 3 on the Arduino. We create an IR receive object using the receive pin. The results that are received on the receiver are decoded and kept in the results variable. Pin number 6 is where the WS2812 RGB LED is connected. The temperature is as a variable of float type. There are actually a couple of things that happen on the idiotware shield when an IR receiver button is pressed. These tests are used to cycle through each of those use cases. The test one happens first, then two, then three, then four, then five. Here we see that we have initialized an Adafruit NeoPixel object with the name strip on pin number six. The U8GLib SSD1306 type variable U8G is of the I2C. In the setup, we are doing IR receive dot enable IR in, which starts the receiver. The strip is started, it is shown, the pixels are set to off, and the font on the display is set to U8G font timeb14. In the loop, what we do is that whenever we receive an IR code, we set the test to true. If the test one is true, then the red color is shown first, the green color is shown first, and the blue color is shown first on the WS2812 RGB LED. After that, the rainbow color is shown and the color on the RGB LED is put in a fade in and a fade out pattern. It then puts the color blue back on the RGB LED. After a delay of 100 milliseconds, it waits. When a new code is received and the test 2 is true, it means that the test 3 has to be started. In this test, it will play the happy birthday, happy birthday melody song. Then it resumes receiving the code from the IR receiver. In a similar manner, the police siren is played when the IR receiver receives a code for the third time. Post that, what it does is whenever a new code is received, the temperature is shown on the OLED display. After that, it cycles back and goes to the test number one which will show the IR receiver receiving a code and showing the RGB LED in a new pattern. We have created the color wipe, the rainbow and the wheel functions. The fade in and fade out are also created in the same code. The happy birthday is created as a list of melodies to be played on the buzzer the durations of those notes and then it uses a for loop to play those notes in a sequence. The temperature is put into a variable called temperature in centigrade and it is put on the display. 
The police siren also works in a similar manner as the happy birthday song. So, in this manner, we have seen how you can use the infrared receiver to receive separate codes on the idiotware shield to do different actions.